Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am back once again with another Baby the Star Shine Bright unboxing today. This is something that I am super excited about showing you guys and I will be doing a try on at the end of the video so stick around for that. The series that I am going to be showing you guys today is the quite recently released Sakura series. It was very popular and kind of hard to get. I am super happy and grateful that my shopping service was able to get almost everything that I wanted through the lottery reservation system. The only things that I weren't able to get were the necklace and the bracelet. I really loved all the jewellery that was released for this series so I'm kind of sad that I wasn't able to get the pieces that I wanted. But apart from that, um, I got everything else I wanted so I really don't have anything to complain about. The Sakura series came in two JSK cuts only. There was a high-waisted cut and then more of a normal waist cut. I really love the high-waist baby doll cut but I figured the other cut would work a bit better for me so that's the one I got. And I went for the Saks Blue colorway. So without further ado, here is the JSK! It's so cute! What I ended up ordering was the JSK, the matching head bow, the Usakuma dress, and the socks. Now there is also one more part to this haul which is very special, um, not technically part of the Sakura series, but I thought it was about time that I ordered myself a Usakumiya pochette since I ordered the Usakumiya dress with this series. I thought now was a good time to also get the pochette so I could actually use it. Um, I've wanted one of the standard size Usakumias for a while now. I do have this little Isakuma Mini Mini um, who I've had for quite a while and I love using her as like a little bag charm and just taking her around with me. She's super cute. Um, but of course I did really want the more kind of regular size. So I'm just going to quickly unbox this as well. I'm super excited. Like my first kind of standard Usakumiya, um, yeah, let's open this. <laughs> Here she is! So I got the pink one with the pink ribbon. I was really torn between getting the white one and the pink one. Um, I ended up going for the pink one because my mini mini is like more of the classic white and pink one so I wanted something different and pink matches everything right? There is also a mint Usakumi that I really want, uh, she's not in stock on the website anymore I believe she was released in 2020 um, so I will be looking for her second hand but I did just want to get one brand new from the website so that's why I got this pink one first. Since I did order this one straight from the Baby Japan website this is how it came packaged. I have seen other people open really cutely packaged uh, Kumias before. I believe it might be from the Baby US store. Um, but sadly this one isn't packaged that fancy, it's just a um, plastic bag, but that's okay. I'm gonna free her now. <laughs> she is so soft. I don't know why that's surprising to me. Um, I did get my mini mini second hand and I ended up having to like wash her and air her out because she smelled really badly of smoke. Um, so her fur isn't as soft as a result, but this new one, she's so soft. There's obviously this strap and then this lovely cotton lace. Her eyes are pink. I think they look quite red. Um, and she's got just like solid pink bows and a pink neck bow. Oh, she's so cute! <laughs> and then... If we take her head off, she's a bear. Obviously, this is her pouch. I wonder how much I'll be able to fit in here. 
probably not a lot. <laughs> but no one gets the Kumia Kumia and Usa Kumia bags for the practicality, do they? Pella is back on. There we go. She's adorable. So anyway, back to the Sakura series that I ordered. Here we have the dress for the Isokumia and Kumia Kumia pochettes. It's pretty simple, just like a big gathered skirt with cute lace at the top and the hem is down the back so you won't really be able to see it when they're wearing it. And it also comes with these two cute little bows which I'm guessing you would attach to their ears. <laughs> I feel like you could probably also use these on yourself as well, as little extra bows. I'm very excited to match my Usakumia and hopefully get her some more clothes. I'll put it on her in a sec. And then this is the head bow. It has a little bit of wire in the top here. I think it's actually very similar to the head bow that I'm wearing right now actually, which is um, from a much older baby series, but it's the same kind of shape. I really like the shape of these head bows because of the amount of space they take up on your head. Um, and I like how you can have them laying a bit more flat. Um, I just feel like they look really cute and work really well, especially if you're wearing your natural hair and you don't have like a huge wig to balance them out. The lace on this is just like a dot lace, nothing too special, but obviously it's got that super cute print on it. These are the socks, and the socks I was kind of excited to see how they are because I don't think I've bought patterned baby socks in a long time. I wasn't sure how the quality would compare to like AP socks for example. On first glance they seem pretty long, pretty stretchy, really really cute. So they're both the same. They have the just the Sakura flower print on the inside and then on the outside they have Kumia and Isokumia and this is baby. They feel very soft again, so this must be some kind of cotton blend which is always good for socks I find. Now onto the main event, the JSK. <sighs> it's beautiful. So my first impression is that I really love this bodice and I don't think I noticed this detail in the stock photos. The little bows on the top of the bodice here have this lovely kind of organza material with a little pearl in the middle and it's like a sakura flower. This is a really really lovely detail, it's on both sides. These bows aren't detachable though, which I think would have been good if they are, but yeah, they're really cute and we've got this dot lace and flower lace on the top here. What I really love about this cut is the ruffle at the top with the print on it. Going down onto the bodice, um, we have these little cute little heart buttons which is a really nice touch. And then the waist bow is really cute because this part of it is shaped like a sakura petal. On the bottom of the dress the lace says baby and has uh, Kumia Kumia faces. Uh, this dress I believe is the kind of standard slightly textured cotton that Baby uses which I really like because it feels very thick and sturdy and nice quality. The print itself is gorgeous and the colours are super vibrant. I love this blue colour because it's not too much of a bright blue, it's a little bit more subdued and it's almost got slightly purpley undertones, like it's definitely like a cool toned blue which is really really pretty. It seems like the print itself is a repeat of three motifs, so you have one with Usukumia, one with both Usukumia and Kimukumia, and one with just Kimia Kimia and all the Sakura flowers. On the back of the dress we have partial shimmering which is great. 
the waist tie buttons are the same hearts as on the front of the bodice. The waist ties are pretty just basic. I feel like they could have also made these shaped like the petals on the front of the bow, but it's fine, they're still cute. One thing I have just noticed is that the shoulder straps have not one, but four buttonholes which is amazing and that means I probably won't have to make any alterations on this one I can just use one of the other buttonholes if I need to lengthen the straps or have the bodice sit further down on me I wish AP did this with their dresses <laughs> So I have just put everything on and my first impression is just wow, the series is gorgeous and it looks amazing so I am going to try and show you my whole outfit in just a second. I ended up putting the shoulder strap on the fourth uh, button option so that the bodice is the longest it can be and it fits me perfectly. I love that baby has this option. I feel like this year is going to be a baby year for me. So let me show you the coordinate I have put together. I had such a fun time coordinating this dress. I just did something quite simple this time, wearing the full set, but I think it worked really well. And I also utilized my new Kumia jewelry, which I think matches this series really well. I'm really impressed by the quality, the fit, just everything. This is a magical series, and I'm so happy that I was able to get it. If you got anything from the series, then I would love to know all about it in the comments. Do you have a favourite cut or colourway from the series? Please let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. And from me and Isakuma, bye!